Good morning. Hope you guys can hear me. Okay, yeah, it looks like the microphone's all working and stuff. So this is the view we're going to be having today. This is the case, clearly. Um, yeah, the microphone. See it. This is this is an odd reflection. I'm using one of my new lights, and that's what that reflection is. Anyway. Uh, so how's everybody doing? I'm a little nervous about this, I gotta admit. Because <laughs> I've done this before, but I've never done it on camera before. So hey Kappa, what's up? Also, this is, it's a little... Today's gonna be kind of a, a little weird, because I'm facing this way, and chat is over there. So like, I have a big window for, for chat on, on one of my monitors, but I can't look at it while I'm looking this way over there <laughs> so uh, I'm I might not be as interactive as usual today also I kind of want to focus on this but then, anyway so this is this is the case it's pretty sweet I'm pretty happy about it oh and I'm just gonna leave the music running because why wouldn't I you know we're not doing anything other than messing with this thing so uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys can't hear me okay or anything like that. I did a lot of audio testing and everything last night, so I think the microphone level should be fine. Um, but if, if it's not, let me know. I will be checking chat, obviously, as often as I can, because uh, I need you guys' judgment. If, if you guys don't judge me, then I don't know what to think of myself. <clears throat> so uh, this is the, the sweet-ass side panel with a window in it. This is the first PC I've ever had that actually has a window in the side panel. It feels a little weird. It's got these really cool latches on it, which these just, you know, snap down, and the whole thing just, that's the only thing holding it on. It just pops right off, and I'm going to put it over here. And you can tell, obviously, the other side panel is also gone already. I took it off because, well, this is the cable handling stuff, and uh, I'm going to turn this over without hurting myself, or it no it's a pc case it's not gonna be that delicate oh there's the front panel this is this is really why i bought this thing uh flash player give me trouble sounds good thank you kappa this is really why i bought the thing i really like the design of this front panel this power switch this is the reset button it has a little plastic cover <laughs> i love that <laughs> like that stupid little military aesthetic i really like it um yeah, and other lights and stuff. Oh, and this is also a really good feature. Oops, bumped the camera. That I found out yesterday. I forgot about this. It's got handles. So this make it made it really, really easy to just pick up and take out of the box. But anyway, the reason I was turning it over. Cable handling. This is honestly the first PC I've ever had that has had any kind of built-in cable handling type stuff. I don't even really know how to use it. <laughs> you missed eight minutes, Jen, but not really. Um, so I'm a little, like, like I didn't even notice this yesterday. I didn't notice those things were there. That's good to know. <laughs> That's probably going to be really handy. If I can... There. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm a little curious about how this is going to work. The cable handling stuff, but I wanted to take off the, the other side panel for when it comes up. Uh, and this is obviously this is the for the power cable for the fan this is other two fans this is all the front panel stuff that's the stuff that's already routed back here and this I really like all of this stuff for it <laughs> it's just in one of the drive bays <laughs> they just popped it in there you just gotta take it out and this is how the drive bay the drives go in and out which is beautiful I love that so what's in this I don't actually know I haven't opened this yet I just I just there's a lot of stuff I haven't opened yeah, <laughs> I just kind of wanted to do an unboxing as well. So this is all the hardware that came with the case. Now oh, some zip ties, plenty of those. Yeah, some screws. Oh yeah, those will probably be important. Various mounting screws. There's other mounting screws. Okay. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a USB 3 thing but for what there's another one right there I mean that's for the front panel obviously but 
All right, well, that'll come in handy. I'll probably need that for something at some point. Uh, see, I gotta go all the way over here. I think the handles are supposed to levitate the case. No, those are handles, that's the top. It's got feet on the bottom, you can't really see it right now. But these are, I don't want to bump the microphone. These rubber feet, this is the bottom of the case, and these, these, um, these are removable filters for the bottom, for the airflow on the bottom. So that's that's definitely the top with those handles. Plus that was that was how it was up upside in the box. I don't know why it bothers me so much that that's not straight. Uh, all right, so find that box. Box away. Um, I also I also messed with the noise gate, so hopefully you guys will be able to hear me whenever I'm saying anything. At least that's the hope. Uh, if, if I'm cutting out or anything, let me know and I can keep messing with the noise gate. Although I do have to like, I just realized this, I have I have chat in a big window, but I can't actually read it from over here. So I have to like move. Yeah, I actually have to move to go over to the, to the monitor to read the chat because maybe I can up the font size. Let me, hang on one second, I'm going to try that. Ah, uh, I'm a genius. Control and scroll wheel. God, now my chat is in old person mode. But I can read it. So the dashboard? You mean my channel dashboard, Jen, or? Alpha key. Well, Jen, I'm sorry, but the only alpha thing I have in the better Twitch TV settings is um, alpha chat badges, I think. So, I don't know what that is, but that's, you're probably just wanting, it's a little blown out because of the, the light. This, this is just a desk light over here. This is a nice, soft light over here. Uh, how much did it cost in total? Um, uh, well, let's see. All of the actual parts for the PC, including this monitor, which is right here that you can't see, um, ended up being a little under 1500 And then I got some other stuff. With, I mean, obviously I needed a new PC. I mean, not PC. A new mouse, keyboard, um, another battery backup for the studio. Um, and some other incidental stuff. So it ended up being, <clears throat> I believe, around $1,800 total uh, but like this case is I think this is the most expensive case I've ever bought I think it was like 120 bucks because I really like the aesthetic black chat why would I want black chat Oh, well, I don't, I don't need to key out chat. It's simply just the fact that the monitor's way over there. And I'm facing this way. It's like, yeah, the monitor's like six feet away from me, so. My old eyes can't see these things. But anyway. So let's see, what else do I got? The important things. A toolkit. 
uh, one screwdriver, one of the little ones, is upstairs in the attic because I was messing with stuff there. So that's going to come in handy. But why don't we go ahead and get this started? We should untie these. Because I've seen, like some folks, um, how I usually do this is I'll take the motherboard and I put the motherboard in first and then I put everything in after that. Uh, I have seen some people like to actually leave the motherboard out of the case until the last step um, where they actually will you know leave the motherboard basically in its box and attach everything to it that uh, obviously that attaches to the motherboard, the processor, the RAM, video card, all that stuff and then they will put the, uh, put the motherboard in after that which I don't know it seems like it'd be harder to, to Finagle it into the case. It's a bigger font. Well, Jen, it doesn't matter. I just I just put my put my uh, my Firefox into old person mode, and clearly I can I can read what you're saying now just by turning my head. So that's an improvement, even though I feel like an old person. But you know, as we've discussed, I am pretty old. So yeah, this is all the front panel stuff. USB ports for the front panel. Yo yo. Oh, that reminds me. I don't. Hmm. I didn't get a uh, DVD drive. Uh, let me go check something real quick. I've got another old PC, the one I built before, the currently one that I'm streaming with. I think that still has a DVD, but DD, a drive in it. Let me go check. Okay, it does. DVD drive isn't important in times with Steam. Well, ordinarily, Kappa, I would agree with you, but I have a lot of older games on disc that um, I don't know how I would get them on Steam. Like, I mean, I have, well, Diablo 2 doesn't count because you can get Diablo 2 off of Battle.net now. Um, but, well, System Shock 2 you can get off of GOG. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Well, then installing the operating system, exactly. I have the operating system on disk. That's actually what made me think about it last night. When I was lying in bed trying to go to sleep, I realized that, oh, wait, I have my operating system on disk. <laughs> I'm going to need a DVD drive. So I want to get these out of the way for now. Because the, these are motherboard posts, if you can see those. But I definitely don't want to cover those up. First, I want to put in the power supply. This, this ought to be entertaining. Because this case is actually, it supports modular power supplies. Uh, this is not a mo modular power supply that I'm going to be putting into it. It's an old one um, that is from my last PC build. But I ended up swapping it out for a more powerful one because I was having problems with my new PC. And I thought maybe it was, oops, upside down. Maybe it was power supply related. It was not. But I was hoping it was because that would have been an easy change. But it wasn't, so then I had this power supply that I haven't done anything with. Okay, so where... Screws for that, how does that screw in? Uh, all right, bear with me. <laughs> this has got to screw in somehow. Okay, through the back, all right. So this is not a modular power supply that is built for, say, cable management. <laughs> Just a shit ton of power stuff. Oh, hey. Stuff I still had marked. Old tape. I don't remember why I did that. This is main power, but I don't know I don't know why I put tape on it to mark it. <sighs>
neutral air for power supply mounting? Yeah, it's 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 a really good mount for it. Usually, I mean, all the PCs that I built, the power supply has been up here. I really like it down here, and it's got the fan right on the bottom, and it just slides right in there. I'm really glad it fits. To be honest, I was worried when it was like, oh yeah, we use modular power supplies. Yes, I hear you. No, get- What the fuck are you doing, cat? She's fucking with the green screen. It's way over there. Like, the green screen is usually over here. Like, where you can't really see. It's where I'm standing, usually. It's over there, just sitting there. Blocking off the pile of body- I mean, um, the junk in the corner. And she's just messing with it, because she feels like it, I guess. Okay, uh, which of these screws? Probably not those. Maybe? Uh, hmm. Where is the... There was a list of stuff that came with the case. Shit. Oh. <laughs> Idiots. I'm dumb. Right here. <laughs> it's literally right next to me. Okay, that's the... Well, you can't really see that because of this lamp. You want to block that? Oh well. Oh, that's the... Okay. Fan mounts, fan screws, fan screws, motherboard, hard drive screws, SSD screws, that's handy. I'll need those. I was wondering about those. Because I've never built anything with an SSD before either, and I was wondering if an SSD uses the same kind of cables. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I'm on carpet everywhere too, so I'm a little concerned. That it won't get enough airflow down there, but it should. So got a lot of screws. I don't know what the hell these are. Must be long fan screws, I guess. Um Well I wonder if that power supply came with its own screws. screws lying around so I guess we'll have to do that or I guess I could use some of these they'll probably hold it in okay okay these are rubber fan mounts I guess I don't they label this shit <laughs> Supposed to come with five different types of screws. There's only three bags, four bags. Those are tiny. These must be SSD screws. So I'll leave those over there. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about the SSD. I'm pretty. I'm. I'm a little concerned about it though, because like I was looking at it yesterday. This is it. It's absolutely tiny. <laughs> And I was like, it's going to fit in these bays, right? And I, I double checked and these bays have two and a half inch support. So yes, it'll fit in there. But I was like, is there a cable in here? And I don't know what kind of cable SSDs actually use because I've never used them before. So I hope there's a cable in there because I might not have a cable that I need. All right, let me grab some. I guess I'll have to use some of my, some of my standby screws that I had, just have lying around. So let me go grab those. I shall return. It's it's gonna bother me if this isn't straight down here.
Okay. Sometimes it is convenient having a bunch of old junk lying around. <laughs> I use a SATA? Nice, nice. SSHDs suck? What's it? I don't know what that is, but this is an SSD. Which you can't really tell because of the lights blowing out, but. So come on. I want to I wanna screw something. Which I guess isn't surprising. I think I've just kind of collected them over the years, but. Yeah, so what's an SSHD, Jen? I don't know what that is. If that's different from an SSD. First screw. You might have noticed I'm actually like ah, dropping my fruit driver. Solid state hybrid drive? That does sound terrible. But though you might have noticed this isn't I'm not working on a rubber mat and I don't have an anti-static strap. I've never used those things. Like this is just this is an old kitchen table that I use as a as a work surface. Um with a big thing of cardboard on it. you know I do all kinds of stuff on this but uh, yeah I never used an anti-static strap or anything like that and I've never had a problem at least not that I know of I have had one excuse me um one through get in there damn it this is I have had one instance where a PC that I built ended up having a bad video card Straight off the build, which I suppose means it's possible that uh, I got a static discharge on it and fucked it over. But I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's what happened. I think it was just bad from the factory. Because that happens sometimes. Recommend checking if the case sinks into the carpet. I guess you can still get air. <laughs> ESD protection is the most important thing. That's what people keep saying. And I've never had a problem with it. So, I mean... Uh, this is you guys know that my stream is not one where where I'm saying do exactly everything that I'm doing because I'm the best at everything so If you're doing it for the first time, I highly recommend Getting the getting the strap at least because you can actually fuck up your motherboard and stuff if you're not careful Like I said, I've never had a problem. That doesn't mean I never will Of course, I mean I like to think it does but <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what it actually means Okay, that's in there nice and good. Nice and good. Oh, I hate, I hate the power supply tangle of cables. I absolutely hate it. And these aren't, yeah. These aren't smooth at all. I don't want to separate these out a little bit. Okay. This will be main power, yep. The big old trunk. But I mean, you should, you guys should see the inside of my, my, the current PC, the one that's running now. It's just, uh, it's a mess. Huge mess of, of 
wires and shit. And there's there's like a, a power line from from a fan up here that has to go all the way over the video card down here, and it's it's stretched totally tight. It can pop out at any moment. All that it's terrible. You don't you don't want to take what I do as this is the best way to do things. <laughs> I think we've established that on several occasions. Okay, I think. Well, we might as well crack the motherboard open anyway. Oh god, I forget how heavy this thing is. Here we go, the Maximus 7 Hero. That's it. It is a sweet looking motherboard. This is kind of a silly place to put anything under the lid. Oh, that's the, okay, that's the actual lid. That's weird. Just use the wire. Strip the insulation off. Yeah, you can do that. To the outlet? What? All you gotta do is clip off to the case, Jen. Alright, I gotta mm, get this plastic off. But yeah, if you if you take a, your anti-static strap and just clip off to the edge of the case, then all it'll do is take the charge and move it away from you and onto the case. Kind of kind of ridiculous how they package this hey big red start button that's awesome install processor first and then remove and keep the cover there, this cover right here says install the processor first that won't help at all if the case is not connected to earth sure it will it'll dissipate the charge around the case whatever charge you can build up Jen it's it's light enough that if the charge dissipates it, it's not a big deal. The only the only real danger is if you're touching something and if you're sparking from your finger to to whatever it is. But if the if the case actually takes the charge, you know you're grounded to the case. That you don't need to ground to the earth. It'll just charge the case, yeah. But the case it doesn't matter. It's not gonna arc from the case. Um, this is kind of. I mean, it's interesting how they just kind of locked it in here in the cardboard, but... Well, first, let me, let me get the motherboard manual out. Which, this is an invaluable thing. Whenever you're building a PC... Motherboard... Drivers for the motherboard? Okay. A weird thing. But uh, yeah, whenever you're building a PC for the first time, the motherboard manual will tell you everything you need to know. It'll tell you what to, what to put where, what step to put, what order to put everything in, what it supports, all that good stuff. So have your motherboard manual. Don't be afraid to read it. it tells you everything, that, oh, what you need. You need screws, you need a case, you need a power supply, you need a screwdriver, a fan for the CPU, CPU of this type, dims, drives, drives, and graphics. The graphics card is optional. Well, I guess it has onboard graphics, but that's terrible. Sonic Radar 2, well, whatever. Don't care about your bundled software. Few codes, those those will hopefully not be necessary. Power connectors, there we go. Internal connectors, those will be important. Hmm. All right, well, we'll get to that. We'll use this thing as a bookmark. Why is there... Ugh. Come on. There we go. And it's up. Plastic underneath for no discernible reason. He's <laughs> still got a PS2 port. Kind of confusing, but okay. Alright, let's see how it fits. And I know I haven't put the I.O. shield in. I've done that. I've made that mistake before where I actually put in the motherboard and then remembered, oh yeah, I forgot to put in the I.O. shield. And then I had to take every... Like, I had the motherboard in and the RAM in and I think the video card had just gone in and then I was like, wait, I didn't put in the I.O. shield. So I had to take everything back out just to put in this fucking thing. <laughs> oh, this is cool. It actually comes... Well, you can't really see those, but these are actual markers. For your hard drives, these are stickers that you can label your cable cables and stuff with. That's really handy. I don't know what the fuck this is about. 
<laughs> this is a door hanger that has enter and do not disturb on it. Why? <laughs> the mother oh, hey Jocelyn, how you doing? Corner piece heat sink? What do you mean? Oh, this thing? Yeah, these. I'm I'm a little curious about those. These are these are the SATA ports, which is nice. I'm really glad that they're there. Because the ones on my other motherboard are like down here, pointing that way. And this is what on my other my other uh, case. This is the bottom of the case where the motherboard sits. Where's the where's the north bridge? I don't know. <laughs> I don't care about that shit. <laughs> I know it's on there somewhere. Because I know what that is. This is such a dinky piece of equipment. It's got a foam back to it. 